Am I the butthole for refusing to shave my beard for a wedding? My cousin is getting this married this week and I am one his groomsmen. His fiancé put everyone, including their mothers, in a group chat. His fiancé's mom says that she wants the groomsmen to shave their faces. We all have beards but 4 out of 5 of us are bald through genetics. My beard is part of my style and it's the only hair that I can grow so I am proud of it. She says it's only hair so it'll grow back. To me it's more than just hair, so I told them that I would shave my beard if she shaved her head because after all, it's just hair. Am I the butthole for refusing to shave my beard? Edit, the bride is totally cool with beards. It's her mother that wants us to be clean shaven. NTA and love your analogy to her. Fiancé's mother, no wait, that's illegal. Pikachu face. You dare to use my spells against me. Bride's mother, shave beard, it'll grow hack, it's only hair. Up, shave your head, it'll grow back, it's only hair. Bride's mother, shocked Pikachu face. As long as he properly washes his beard, it's not too different, so why does she even complain? Because beard hair grows slower, it's coarser, less malleable and harder to work with. Should he shave it off it may very well take a year to get it back to where it was depending on his beard length, style etc. During that time he'll have to relearn what styles make the awkward phases between usable styles more workable. Source, personally started to grow a beard over COVID break, it's just now getting kind of workable. Edit, my bad, I misread that as why does he complain? This is important info about beards. Add to that, I looked pretty far down in the comments and I didn't see anyone comment on the itching you go through before it grows out enough. I saw what my husband went through. It doesn't have to be itchy. Some moisturizer and brushing helps a lot. Which is another point, the amount of money and time that goes into a properly groomed bear is extreme. It's not just hair you can let grow without taking care of it. How do you even properly groom a bear? Sorry. Well you start off by feeding them the proper amount of meat. Well meat with a lot of sedative. Or some bear tranquilizers and you can groom it easily. For bears you start with a tranquilizer dart. For beards there's a range of oils, balms, butters, combs, waxes and assorted other things to try out. Oils are mainly for preventing beard itch. After discovering the absolute effing wonder that is beard oil I feel utterly insane for having initially grown my beard without any products, adding in hair strengthening slash conditioning crap to it bombs and butters are a wishy-washy subject that someone with more knowledge than I should inform you of. Combs, well we're talking about hair, I should really well hope you know what a comb is. Waxes are to give your beard slash mustache style some hold and staying power which helps it stay in place lastly some schmuck took the curling slash straightening iron made for women's and thor's hair modified it to be more usable with beards and men's hairstyles and now there's a beard straightening iron on the market leave that to his twink with a lot of time and money bear hairstylists don't work cheap neither do bears who are hairstylists lol okay i'm with y'all on a beard taking some time and effort etc and I definitely wouldn't shave it for this, but extreme? Extreme amounts of time and money? Lol I think we are going a little overboard now. WTF are you doing to your beard? I feel like I take pretty good care of mine. Spent a few bucks on some oil. I comb and trim it etc. Where are the extreme amounts of money and time supposed to be going here? It also looks like crap for a good couple of weeks for most men. When it's too long to be a cool stubble look, but too short to be a real beard. Yeah like when a woman cuts her hair really short and then it goes through all of those awkward phases you can't do anything with it and now I'm stuck with a weird hairstyle until it grows back to normal anyway, yeah my husband is in the middle of growing his beard again and it doesn't look easy. I think he's spending more time in front of the mirror that I am. Lol that woman should know better. Exactly my thoughts. As long as the beard is groomed, clean and tidy, what does it matter? And the bride's chill with it. Mother of the bride needs to butt out. It's not even that woman's wedding. The bride is fine with beards and her mom needs to go pound sand. Agreed. It is good to always keep things in proper perspective. People asking for favors should be willing to give up as much, or more than they ask for. Nah, 
I don't care how much more mob has given up, why should a man have to do that if he doesn't want to? Really weird expectations sometimes, other people mostly don't care that much about your wedding. I haven't seen my husband clean shaven ever, not even for his own wedding. Especially given that the bride and groom don't seem to have a problem with it. Not the butthole at all. Asking for appearance changes from your wedding party is iffy, asking when it's not even your wedding is way too much. Yup, my boyfriend has a nice big beard. I've never seen him without it and I doubt I ever will. I can't even think of a scenario where he would willingly shave it. My wife of 12 years has never seen me personally clean shaven. For that matter, my ex-wife, we were married for 6 years, never saw me clean shaven, either. My beard is old enough to rent a car without a surcharge. I trim it, or get it trimmed, periodically, but I've worn it continuously for 25 years now, I'm 45 meters, I'm not willing to remove my face fuzz, especially because the hair on the top of my head is sparse. My wife, the current one, did say that my beard made me look like the Unabomber, and she almost ran screaming when we met F2F the first time, but she stuck it out, fortunately. I can't stand the way my boyfriend looks without his beard, haha. He had it when I met him and it's how I know him. He shaved it off once and it was just too bizarre. My ex shaved clean once for me, and once for his new wife. We both told him the same thing. Don't do that again. Mind you, neither of us asked him to. I begged hubby to shave once, I am not a great fan of beards myself. But it's his shield and I grew used to it. It would probably be very weird if it was gone all of a sudden now. I have been with my husband 10 years and I have no idea what he looks like under that beard. Is there a chin? Who knows? When my partner and I got married one of our groomsmen has, and still does have, very long hair. My only request was that it be clean and presentable, he ended up braiding it and it looked fine. I would never have asked him to cut it off, no one cares about my wedding photos anyway two years later. I said the same thing to my wife when she said she was going to, jokingly, cut my beard in my sleep, so I said the same thing to her about her hair. She didn't like that one, but fair is fair, you take my hair I take your hair. Granted neither of us were serious but that rebounded logic broke the brain for a few seconds. However, women are expected to shave their legs and pits while men aren't. It's all about social expectations. People get embarrassed for me when they see my hairy ass armpits. I have very pale skin and am hairy as f for a woman and don't shave. It's so freeing and comfortable, I don't care anymore lol. Ugh same. The last time I slept with a guy for the first time, I felt obligated to inform him in advance that he would discover that I was a hairy person under all these clothes. He really didn't give a f but I'm still cringing at my own logic. I know. I know. I remember that feeling of should I shave? What if I meet a guy tonight and we hook up? Then proceed to shave and eventually go home alone with tacos to my cats. I feel it's a bit presumptuous for you to assume that I left my home in the first place. That's more fashion and peer pressure though, not too long ago, 50 years, it would have been normal to not shave, 20 years ago, guys couldn't have long hair if they wanted to be presentable and in many places this still is so. I'm going to shave your armpits in your sleep. NTA at all and the analogy truly is perfect. I understand coordinating clothes, but whenever I see stories about brides, grooms, or in this case the bride's mother, WTF? Trying to control people's hair or asking for tattoos to be covered or whatever I just think the very least this control freak could have done was to let people know ahead of time so they could have refused the invitation or reached a reasonable middle ground. It would still be weird and controlling as F. But at least it's better than jumping out on a groomsman two days before the event and saying oh, by the way, would you mind accepting this completely unreasonable request I've just pulled from my ass for no reason? I mean, come on, people. At this point your buttholeness transcends the people you're making the request to and impacts yourself and everyone else involved in the marriage. Just think a little. At this point your buttholeness transcends the people you're making the request to and impacts yourself and everyone else involved in the marriage. I think the true transcendent moment was when she had the audacity to tell four bald men hair grows back. I truly do not understand the phenomenon of loving someone enough to have the in your bridal slash groom party, but also disliking how they look enough to ask them to shave slash dye their hair slash cover their tattoos for one day. 
Although to be fair it sounds like the bride is fine with the beard in this situation, it's the bride's mother getting the pre-wedding wilds. I came here to say the exact same thing. I mean make sure you're well-groomed and presentable, but f having to shave your beard for someone's wedding. Unsure if I this is such a good idea. No is a perfectly sufficient answer. Anything more is weakening the answer. You are not going to shave your beard, that's all. NTA, your beard is not a prop. Side note, I really hate these brides who think they can make ridiculous requests just because they're getting married. The thing that pissed me off the most is that it wasn't even the bride. It was her mom. The bride is totally cool with the beards. Keep your beard. The bride is cool with beards. The bride's mother doesn't get a choice on what other people look like. NTA this is most important the bride and groom's opinion, not mother-in-law. Bride and groom should not have a say either. In things that can't be changed in 10 minutes, they do, within reason. If I tell my bridesmaids we're all going to have our hair braided or put up in combs, that's just how you're asking them to look for the day. It doesn't have any effect after the wedding. If I tell my bridesmaids we're all dyeing our hair blue, or blonde, or natural colors only, no. Unless we're all into colors and do it all the time, and are all into it. My friend made me get rid of my blue hair, a thing I did as a coping mechanism for my infertility, for her wedding. Sounds like a crappy friend. The least ridiculous request would have been if she asked you to wear a wig for the day. But, emo, that would still be asking too much. She's basically saying that she doesn't like the way you look. If you look the same as when you got asked to be in the wedding party, there is absolutely no reason you should be asked to change. Agreed. In these types of cases, though, there's always the possibility that whoever asked slash demanded the change had been planning it from day one. I've seen a few stories on Reddit before where a bridezilla has even kicked someone out of the wedding slash wedding party for refusing to make a change in appearance. For my best friend's wedding, my roommate wanted to get bangs a couple months before and went to the length of asking the bride if she was okay with that. Bestie was like, of course. You didn't even need to ask. Which is the only right answer, in my opinion. ETA, we were in the wedding party. I don't even understand this. When I get married, the women who I ask to stand there with me will be there because I love who they are. I can't imagine asking one of them to change a dang thing about themselves to appease me. This so much. I asked people to be in my wedding because they are important to me. It feels like it would be so weird to look at wedding pictures and see my loved ones not even looking like themselves. Right. I mean even if your friend was going through a blue hair phase, the fact that she had blue hair at the wedding would only add to the memories, not take away from them. Yeah, you should have refused. Nobody gets to tell someone else how they should look, beyond maybe clothes, at a wedding. I don't know where this kind of thing started, but it is extremely arrogant and entitled. In my opinion, that is kind of crappy of your friend. People need to put aside their selfish motives sometimes and get some perspective. Yes, I understand it's their wedding but they can't be so selfish and entitled they forget to enjoy that moment with friends and family as they are. They like them that way before the wedding. What has changed? Edit, changed head 2 has on last sentence. NTA as long as your beard is clean and groomed. I can understand wanting it neat, but asking to shave is rude. Some guys look better with facial fair. As a woman I would equate this to the bride wanting me to wear a certain hairstyle, would do, versus wanting me to cut it to a certain length they desire, would never do. I work in an office so I keep it short and clean. I would understand if it was unruly but it's not. I was going to say a nice beard trim with some shaping could be a reasonable request but it sounds unnecessary in your case. If you want to keep the peace, you could say that it is likely that you will break out in acne if you shave and that would look worse for the photos, but I just say nope and leave it at that. Or compromise by shaving my pubes instead. Tell her you'll shave your bottom beard haha. Ha. NTA by the way. You could sell the trimmings to some kid for $20. Is there a roaring trade in that sort of thing then? Yeah just ask Scott Tennerman. But not his parents. Ask Beavis and Butthead. 
Just make sure to avoid chili for a while. Hey! You lied! You can grow other hair. Please update us. Trim pubes, glue to head. Conform. Modern problems require modern solutions. Man, if all of my fiancé's bearded friends came to my wedding baby-faced, I'd be convinced it was done out of spite. Beards are wonderful. Shape them up. As someone married to a bald bearded man, I completely understand your feelings about your beard. My spouse takes a point of pride with his beard, it's glorious, lol. Don't shave it for the crazy lady, especially if the bride doesn't care. Yeah, definitely NTA. When my husband and I got married he had a groomsman with a beard that was longer than it should have been for his hair type and his fiance would straighten it for him for special occasions. It looked like long, straightened pubes and it was awful. My husband decided to go to a nice barber shop the morning of the wedding and had his beard trimmed and whatnot. He invited all of his groomsmen to go with him. Some accepted, some didn't, including the groomsmen whose beard we were concerned about. You know what we said to him? Nothing, because it's his face and he can do what he wants with it. When I got married one of my bridesmaids asked me if she could get a trim before the wedding I replied that it's her hair she can do whatever she wants with it. It sounds like the bride doesn't care though it's the mother of the bride NTA. Yeah one of my best friends got married a few years ago. I have a very bright hair color and tattoos. I asked her if she wanted me to buy a shawl or something to go with the bridesmaid dress and if I should dye my hair a normal color. That stuff obviously doesn't bother me but it was her wedding and I didn't want to be focused. Her response? I love your hair and tattoos and you, don't change a thing. Thank you for being there with me. The only acceptable answer, honestly. She sounds like a lovely friend. She probably wants to look back at her wedding photos and remember the special people she shared her day with, rather than admire how everything looked perfect or everyone matched. My maid of honor was rocking gauges and a side cut. She's so pretty in our photos, and I would never have asked her to change. There's been some brides on here wanting their bridesmaids to dye their hair. Definitely NTA. What a shallow person. Yeah a Taliban slash duck dynasty type long wild massive beard would be a different story. But a tidy beard is not something the mother of the bride has any legit reason to object to. NTA. I have also known brides to ask their bridesmaids to change their hair color because the bride should be the only blonde etc. Some beards take a long time to grow in properly. Hopefully you pick your wedding party because of who they are not because of how they look. Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube. And share them with your friends. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. We welcome your comments below. Another of our videos will begin shortly.